Welcome everyone, it is Sandra Alexei, and we're going to be talking about the new moon in Virgo. I am from, I'm one of the authors of Game Changer. It's a new model of relationship all about self-discovery. Um, you can see where you can get it. It comes in audio, it comes in soft cover, hard cover, and ebook. Okay, and so that's basically what Game Changer Game on the YouTube channel is about. I'm also an astrologer with my uh, personal muse, so I do business and um, spiritual consulting. I have written other books, and you can, if you go into the show me more, you can see my uh, website. So I'm welping, welcoming you all today. We have... Um, Lots of things happening in September, and I'm all excited because I got myself a new car, and I want to thank everybody for all the congratulations. Um, I had some eye surgery, and today is my first day of trying my contacts again. So Jupiter went direct, so it was very good for me, okay? What I do want to talk about is uh, the different changes and everything that are happening. Um, we're getting close to the big conjunction on December 20th of 2020. Okay, so what I want to share is that, number one, I am doing a mini reading, free mini reading. I'm putting the different names in a, in a little jar and I'm pulling them. So. For every month, I do one mini reading, and all you need to do is put a comment here. And I would appreciate it if you would like, if you would share, and if you would comment, and also if you would subscribe to um, the channel. So let us get started. Exciting times, exciting times, very transformative. Um, not that easy to transform. This has been going on since 2007, 2008, and uh, there's still a lot of change that's going to be happening. I will share that with you. Anyway, so are we all ready to finally enjoy a very beautifully aligned and practical new moon? Fresh starts as you are challenged to get organized with your thoughts and your intentions, okay? Because when we're under a lot of stress, there's a lot of anxiety, and we don't have a lot of clarity. Finally, some clarity on September the 17th, 2020, with this marvelous and truly magical new moon at 25 degrees of Virgo, a real game changer as it is midpoint between the eclipses. As it is a midpoint between the eclipses, there's strong aspects to the lunar nodes, which are points in the sky, representing the, plan, the plane of karma and dharma, the past and the future, and connected to our purpose, and also aligned with the center of the Milky Way galaxy. I'm sure during this shifting and transformative times, you have questioned, what is my purpose? What am I doing? Especially with all the changes in 2020. And then fall is in the air. And so we have this colorful palette of the leaves. It's so pleasing to the eye. The equinox is only a few days away. And it's asking you, what is your plan? New moons, in general, are opportunities to turn over a new leaf, initiate a new project, start a brand new undertaking. As we are getting close to our big conjunction in December, the energy of this Virgo moon is very powerful and wants you to discern, to get clarity, and critically think about your reality where the truth really lies for you at this particular time in your life. You may have been feeling the new moon energy a few days beforehand and may have received some intuitive messages of what you need to look at. 
you have gone through the critical process of assessing lessons you were to learn about relationships from July of 2015 until July of 2020, and then from August the 18th of 2017 until August 18th of 2020. What have you figured out? Where do you see yourself in 2021, 2022, based upon what and how you value yourself? What is your self-worth? And what are the insights you have, your intuition? Always remember the icing on the cake can look pretty good. However, when you cut into the cake, what is the person like at a soul level? How mature are they and how compatible are you really? Do not be afraid to be alone because in the wrong relationship, you are really alone, okay? And this has been a very traumatic time with all the, the um, shutdowns and uh, quarantines for relationships. The wake-up call. Finally, you're gaining some traction with identifying what your intentions are during this chaotic and confusing time. What brings you joy at this stage of your life? And especially after the lockdowns, you have shifted in your priorities. What do you actually want in your life? The book Game Changer is about the new model of relationships and it's imperative as you mature, you change. The new moon energies are inspiring you to create new strategies and solutions for your life. Embracing the energy and giving you forward momentum for your life and for your true soul purpose. Time to start a new chapter in your life. No more procrastination. Virgo is a mutable earth sign that's ruled by Gemini. And some descriptor words are, it is a feminine energy, it's a perfectionist nature, very practical, very pragmatic, very precise, very sensual, very healing, cleansing, detoxifying, grounded, very analytical, very logical, very detailed orientated, likes routine, reliable, all about service, work, habits, strategies, very humble, can be very anxious, so you could be have a little bit of anxiety, virtuous, and purity. I'm sure you're finally all getting it through this transformation process. It's all about restructuring, redefining, realigning, and rebooting. Virgoian actions are very efficient, ethical, and as you find solutions for freedom, not buying into the authoritarian craziness, no slavery, and no one is your boss. The abounding Aquarian energy, because we're moving into it, okay, is all about a higher level of mature consciousness for a free and aware society, humanity, that is self-responsible, not codependent. Everyone loves a new moon because it's all about new opportunities, planting new seeds, new intentions, where you can start something new so you can work out. There can be weight loss, new daily rituals of self-care. A great time with this Virgo new moon to reconcile reality. The Virgo new moon at 2020 may see a very humbling moment globally as what is left of the old paradigm is being deconstructed and destroyed. The corrupt, deceitful, greedy, power-hungry energies of the old system begin to shut down with dire consequences which force us to rethink our lives and how we plan to move forward. 
moving away from hungry eyes and consumerism. I need this. I got to have this, okay? More grounded in reality with all the earth energies. It's a great time to clean out your space. So we say, and your life. And do it step by step so you can clean your environment, you're cleaning out your um, thoughts, you're keep cleaning out your emotions, um, letting go. I did a lot of, um, been working with people with a lot of um, cutting energy cords um, with different people. Um, so do one thing at a time. Have a checklist. Interesting how you can find your joy during a truly serious time because you're connecting within, aligning with the divine, and are more authentic. Hold yourself to a higher standard regarding integrity, truth, virtues, and personal boundaries. To better ourselves, we need to be more serious and precise, less immature and haphazardous, more grounded and less drama and flighty. Destiny is now calling you, and I would suggest you listen as the divine universe is challenging you to harness this Virgo new moon energy to propel yourself towards your soul's reason for incarnating. An incredible time to have a personal session or reading um, with me, okay, uh, for the simple reason that it's, it's very powerful, and there's going to be clarification. And uh, set some very powerful and potent new moon intentions immediately after the Virgo new moon is exact, between 25 and 27 degrees. Knowing what house it is in, shining on in your natal chart, will help you with your discernment. Now, Virgo is all about self-care healing, your personal boundaries, so do not let anyone take your power or create chaos. Be gentle with yourself as you're integrating the lessons and new ways to approach what is happening in your life. You know what you need to do. Now it is about doing it. Okay, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. I'm fine. Many blessings and much love. And uh, as I said, a great time to have a personal or private session. Thank you for taking your time. And I, again, would appreciate it if you'd comment, like, share, and subscribe to the new uh, channel. And hopefully you have a personal copy of Game Changer and are doing or having completed the first chapter of self-discovery. There's interactive exercises, eight areas of your life. And... Um, Always remember our first relationship uh, in life is to know thyself and then to thine own self be true. Then understand as we evolve and mature, we change and need to take time to reflect on who we are and what our needs are. Now, change is inevitable. So again, I said, if you want to put your name in for the draw, you can just do a comment. And the next one is... We'll have some new energies in, in a few days, and I'll be back. And take care, lots of love, and many blessings.